Hello, my name is Nelson Abbott and I'd like to answer a legal question for you. The question is, in a, in a personal injury lawsuit or uh, attempt, at, attempt at settling a personal injury dispute or lawsuit, why is it that the injured person doesn't take responsibility for their own life and just move on? Don't worry about making a claim, don't worry about being compensated for your injury, take responsibility for yourself. It may seem like a funny question, but in fact, this is something I've heard numerous times from jurors, from neighbors, from friends, even from people in our own office. If the, the thought is that people that are injured should take responsibility for themselves. It's interesting, as a, somebody who's worked with a lot of injured people, I've seen that in fact, yes, injured people do try and take responsibility for themselves. They try and do the best they can. In fact, in my firm, if they don't do that, we tell them that we're not interested in representing them and we withdraw from the case. But let me ask you another question. Why is it that nobody asks that question of the person who was negligent? If the person who was negligent took responsibility for their own negligence, wouldn't they be offering to help the injured person? Wouldn't they maybe be making some overture at settlement? I mean, think about it from a Christian perspective. Jesus said that if you're sued for your coat, give them your cloak also. Why is it that nobody expects the person who's negligent, who's careless, who injures somebody else because of that negligence, takes responsibility for what they do? As a personal injury lawyer, that's what I do. I step in and force the negligent person to take responsibility for their actions. In my opinion, that's morally justified and that's legally justified. And that's why I believe in what I do. Thank you for your time.